Okay, so what are the components of multidimensional healing? Basically, in this book, Which Lifetime Is This Anyway?, I talk about this extensively and I, and I lay it out for you. And I will include some of that in the blog. But how do you even get into this? You start by following the threads of your experience. Whatever your anxiety is in your day-to-day -day life, that is predicated on the experiences that you had in childhood. Otherwise, you wouldn't be having stress about it. So, there's something that's getting triggered. If you can't process your emotional reactions to the current situations in your life within about a 15 second period, then you have collapsed into an old feeling. You want to clean that old feeling up. How do you do that? It's all the inner child work. Who inside feels this pain? What do you need from me in order to heal? Now, once you begin to get that picture, then the next operative question is, when was the first time I experienced this? That's when you are connecting with your higher guidance and you are asking to be taken back to the origin of this pattern. You want to specifically connect with your healing team. And when I talk about healing team, I'm talking about having a guardian angel having angels and archangels and, and loved ones on the other side who you bring into your meditations so that you're not doing this alone. This is also a time when you might want to have the help of a practitioner. But you have to ask them, are you comfortable dealing with multidimensional healing? This would be a good time again to join the membership that I'm trying to get going. That's what I'm trying to develop, is a community that will assist you in doing that. And you're probably going to hear me say that over and over again, because I am so committed to developing that support system for people, so that we all can share in where those, those glitches are. And we can brainstorm in our, in our town hall meetings about what each person needs. And then as a community, we will figure out a way to begin to respond to that. It may be teleconferences I set up. It may be self-help groups that somebody within the community begins. I won't know until we all show up for it. But there is support, and you can be an active part of that. If you get into this work and you get stuck, there is support. So, I have given you ways to deal with your grief. I have given you ways to identify the children within. I have given you ways to begin to see how the developmental stages interface with the special areas of concern. There are all sorts of avenues now for you to begin to get the profile of your cherry saboteur. Once you get that, once you get that idea, now we're going to start talking about how you change the blueprint of that cherry saboteur. And today, it is specifically following the threads. So that's what the EFT is going to be on today, is following the threads of your current life back to the different layers of healing. So I invite you to join me. Even though this current situation, and come up with the current situation, has triggered me, and I feel a lot of emotions in response to that. I choose to follow the threads of this experience back to the inner child or the aspect of my soul who holds that pain. So even though the situation has triggered this pain. I am willing to return to the seven layered healing process so that I can work with this aspect of me and help him or her heal that pain. I am really triggered. Don't know where to start. 
just feel so overwhelmed by these emotions. I don't know how to get a handle on them. I don't know how to put my adult back in charge. I just want to calm down. I just want to calm myself down. I know I've been triggered, but I have ways to begin to heal. I can return to the seven layer healing process. I can walk this inner child or this soul self through the process of healing. I am not alone. I can join a community. I can seek help. There are ways I can find my way home. I am not alone. I can do this. I can repair this wound. I can work with the blueprint. I can alter my DNA. I can follow the threads and heal in all dimensions of time and consciousness. I do have resources. I am not alone. I am willing to walk through this door. I am willing to gather all that I've learned. I am willing to share with others. I am willing to do what it takes. I am willing to bring all my wounded ones home. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So tomorrow we'll start looking at some of the specifics of how to reprogram your DNA, how to alter your belief system, how to begin to put those pieces together. Thank you.